Hey, what's up everybody? This is Royce from Tidal Metal and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be rebuilding my fuel injectors. Foxy, I'm in the middle of filming. I'm going to be uh, rebuilding my fuel injectors from my 1990 Corrado G60. And um, what I'm going to do here is I got a kit which comes with, oops, new spacers, new O-rings. But the, the most important part is the screen rate. So I'm going to show you here how you get these screens out. That's kind of, there's the new screen. Right there. And I did just yank one of them out. They're, they took me a little bit to get one of them out, but. Okay, so I got one screen out a while. Um, I've done my did my 1998 Volvo turbo wagon before and they were a lot easier to do they were very similar to this they were Bosch EV1 or EV2 injectors these are EV1s I believe okay the easiest way they do sell a tool to do this the easiest way that I found to get these the old screens out is a, a screw usually like a number 10 sheet metal screw something like that and then you put it in your vise. Now I had I didn't have a good luck with the vise this time. So what I did is uh, insert the screw just, just so far, and then I have a really good pair of pliers here that try to <clears throat> pull this out. I don't know for whatever reason the Volvo ones they came right out there real easy. This this one here is they've really were i did two out of the four so far and they were really bad they were hard to do and kind of almost had to i had to do like a slight rocking back and forth too to to get that brass uh sleeve to pop out mm. holy cow okay there we go it just came right out thankfully and now this is almost 28 years old but that's the original filter screen that's inside the injector and this is something you can do at home it's really uh really easy and it's actually kind of fun to do i just hope this kit that i ordered is the the right size i just got a standard kit off of ebay and the place i got it from is a uh, cs performance and i had pretty good luck with them before in the past and i just kind of do like a little flush of the pieces make sure no piece of plastic are there with the that's just brake cleaner and then go ahead and take off the the o-rings those top ones i had done i think 10 years ago but the bottom ones these are all original I think this pick kit here, this is pretty nice. This little kit came from Harbor Freight years ago. I got that and it seems to come in handy for getting a hold of stuff. The thing I noticed though, these the spacers, the ones that came in the kit, are not the right size. So I don't know. So I'm going to have to figure something out for those spacers because these obviously don't go on there. And the ones that are on here are, are a little bit thinner, but they're split. So maybe I can just file these down and then split them that I can turn them to get them, to get them up on here. I can, you can see how this is split. I guess that's so you can get them on and off. So I'm going to save save one of those most of the other ones are all rotten from age and whatnot so that's it and then uh what i do is i i use my wife has a a big jewelry ultrasonic jewelry cleaner and that's what i like to use to i ran the volvo ones through there and they, they came out like brand new i have never seen that listed anywhere else 
online for other ones that where people are talking about cleaning these. I've never seen anyone suggest that. They usually just do brake fluid cleaner or something like that or carb cleaner through them. But uh, I found you let them put them in the ultrasonic cleaner if you have one that you can borrow from somebody. Uh, my wife probably would freak if she knew they, what these were I was putting in there, but she never really asked any questions, and I didn't say anything, but um, they come out really, really nice and clean. They look pretty much like brand new injectors when you're done with them. So I got three out of the four of these, the screens out. I got one more here that's a bugger to, to get out. And then I think I can put them in the ultrasonic cleaner and get them put back together. <clears throat> yeah, that one came right out. Whew, that's good, because earlier the other screw I was using seemed to be just a hair too small. And I think that was a, the other one was a number 10 uh, sheet metal screw, I believe is what, like a standard size sheet metal screw. This one is, where'd that go? Oh, I just threw it away. All right, here it is. I don't know what this is, just some stainless steel screw. It was actually a nice screw that I just pretty much ruined now. So hopefully these screens fit this. Looks like they will. So let me put these in the ultrasonic cleaner and come back and we'll stick them together. Here's the uh, model my wife got a few years ago off of Amazon. Um, I think it's pretty much like probably any other one. Except for this is a pretty large size one. But it works great for, for uh, fuel injectors. So it's called Optima. Alright. Back from cleaning these up. Okay, I went ahead and I put one together while just be, because I uh, want to make sure everything fits. This, the kit that I got was for the 944 Turbo. And these spacer rings were not split. I had to, I just took an X Acto blade and leaned on them a little bit and they cut fairly easily, easily. But I needed them, I needed them split so I can get them on here. And the ones I took off, these factory ones, are real brittle, but they were split. And the reason they're split is so you can get them on and off the injector. So, I'll show you what I did here. Is I put one, start at the bottom here, and then I put the one of the, the uh, thicker, this is the new spacer ring. I put that up on there like that. And then one of the new O-rings, which you... I recommend a little bit of Vaseline or petroleum jelly if you need to to lube them up. And it actually says here on the paper from CS Performance, it says about you should use a lubricant. It doesn't say what though. But so anyway, they I should have probably got eight of these spacers in the kit, um, but it was only four of them in there. Not a big deal, and I was. I was only able to salvage two rings out of the, the other ones I had. But what I figured out to do is uh, I've been putting this. I have a little kit of O-rings from Harbor Freight that I've had forever here. And it was the size that I used as a spacer was I, let me see here. I think it's the P7, P7 size, which is, says 6.8 by 1.9 millimeter. So I use that as a spacer for the bottom, and I think that will be fine to hold it together. And then next we will do the filter, the little filter, just drop that in the top. And then I have a, they're really tight, I have a small little brass hammer, and what I was doing is just kind of 
tapping it down in there. I'm sure you could just lean it against a desk or something and push it on in there. Just do it until it gets until it's flush there at the top. So there's two of them down. Actually, here I forgot to do the top. We gotta to do the. I'm almost out of this jelly. We want to do the the top here then the last O ring. Well, that was way too much jelly I just put in there. Mm, dog's freaking out about something. So there's two of them. And that's it. It should be like new. It's as simple as that. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is, since I have them cleaned up, I wanna check the uh, resistance here, The basically the coil inside each each one of these injectors and for that we need to put your this is just a free one of these cheapy free meters here i have it on ohms and it's on the 200 which is the well the lowest lowest setting and probably would be nice to have some alligator clips but you can do this without without alligator clips oops let's see here should have brought my clips down. That probably would have been a good thing to have at the moment. So this one is 16. sixteen four for that one. This should be about 16. 16 from what I was reading online. You have to check to see what your car what they should be obviously if it's under like i would think 10 it's probably something's up with the injector 16 4 16 4ish that is a big fly flying around Sixteen 
16.4. So they're all 16.4. I could swear yesterday when I measured them, they were 16.1. So I don't know <laughs> if that's the meter or what, or maybe I just can't remember what it was before. But anyway, so it's as simple as that. And if, if the numbers are way off, um, you're going to know it. But from what, what I was reading online, you should, it should be, it should be in that range. So like I said, you might have to just Google that just to make sure. But if you'd obviously have one is five or, you know, or something, you know, something might be up with it. And the others are all 16 or 15. So that's just to show you real quick that. And uh, somewhere I read online, people say you should check when they're hot. I don't know. I've, I've. I've never heard of that before, but so there you go. Now I'm going to stick them back in the car and hopefully they'll flow a little freer than before. And just thought I'd show you that, show you that. And it's pretty easy and fun to do. All right. So thanks for checking out. If you guys have any questions or comments, just post them down below and we'll see you later on. All right. Bye now.